Is the timing of the testing of extended range anti submarine rocket coinciding with the foreign presence that we see in Indian Ocean? How will this change the defense export potential that we see in terms of India? And is there any clear geopolitical message that India is trying to put across? In the depth of our Indian Ocean, enemies have started lurking and India has just dropped a game changer. It is not a torpedo, it is not a missile, it is an indigenously developed extended range anti-submarine rocket and this is here to shatter silences and signal the supremacy with which India comes. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand that how the successful testing of eraser that is extended range anti-submarine rocket is a new call for the changing times that we see in terms of defense, defense export and strategic shifts in the global order. Now let us begin with understanding that what exactly is eraser. When we talk about eraser, I have as I've mentioned the full form extended range anti-submarine rocket. Now the highlight here is that it has been indigenously built and it is India's newest anti-submarine weapon. Now this becomes important because of the timing with which the testing has been done. Now this testing has been carried out over 15 days and the success of it is not just a good news for India but also for the Indian Ocean. Reason being in recent times we have found that Chinese submarines as well as Pakistan submarines have been lurking across Indian Ocean and such capabilities not only ensures our blue water navy aspirations but also the safety and sanctity of the Indian Ocean which also holds multiple major trade routes. Now when we are talking about this extended range anti-submarine rocket it has been indigenously developed by DRDO so basically the organization has been ARD with the help of DRDO labs and it is a powerful underwater weapon system and this will directly enhance India's capability and naval strike range as of now. Now when we talk about this particular rocket that has been tested, it has been tested not just once, it has been tested 17 times in the duration of 15 days and it has been tested from INS Kavarati and it has been done in real sea condition. It has not been done in induced or hypothetical condition. So it is a clear indication that if a threat emerges underwater in Indian Ocean, India is ready to strike it in real conditions. And the good news here is when we were looking to understand the precision, the target, the success rate has been 100% of this testing. So this also becomes another important highlight here. Now the facts that are present in front of us not just show the success but they also show the maturity, the preparedness and the consciousness and preciseness that they come with. Now that we have understood about the trial, now let us look and understand that why it is so significant. Let us start with understanding the dynamics that we see, especially in Indian Ocean. So when we are talking about Indian Ocean, I would like to bring your attention to the fact in terms of Chinese ports that you can find or the presence of China you can find. For example, if we talk about Djibouti, then we have Gwadar that is in Pakistan, presence of China. Again, we have Findulu, which is a Chinese island. Now, apart from that, in recent time, there was presence of China in Bay of Bengal, which was detected through French intelligence and they were going off radar. So, such presence of China, especially in Indian Ocean, where they come with their expansionist behavior is difficult for India if they, we do not have the capabilities to counter it in real situation. Other than that, in terms of Indian Ocean, if you see, I am going to point out three major routes, Malacca Strait, Sunda Strait and Lombok Strait. These are important maritime choke points. 
Now, when we are talking about maritime choke points, we have to understand that it is not going to only just affect the trade of the rest of the world, but it is going to affect the trade and trading capabilities of India as well. Now, the scenario is not only in the context of security and sovereignty, but also in terms of trade. In this context, this particular test matters. The success of this test matters because this will automatically enhance India's underwater threat response that we have been seeing in recent times, be it Chinese submarines or Pakistan submarine strength that has been present. Other than that, it will facilitate the coastal defense because if you talk about India's coastal boundary, 7,500 kilometers plus, we have maritime choke points around us and the surveillance and presence that is required in Indian Ocean that will also be strengthened. Furthermore, if any sort of submarines are found, they can be engaged earlier and from a safer distance and it will also provide combating which is stealthier, faster, especially for any underwater threats that could emerge here. Now, if we talk about the significance, we also have to go a little beyond just the fact that what changes or what capabilities are being enhanced here. We also need to look into the technological features, the unique points that this particular eraser brings in for us. So, if we talk about key technological features, we have two-stage solid propulsion system which has extended the reach. Initially, the reach was 5.3 kilometers. Now, it has been enhanced to 8.5 kilometers. Other than that, there is electronic time fuse. For what? So that there can be precise underwater detonation and engagement. Other than that, there has been 60% improvement in terms of range which can be credited to two-stage solid propulsion system that we are saying. If we talk about compatibility, the good news here is that there is no need of new ship platforms. It is absolutely compatible with indigenous rocket launcher system that is present with us. So it is not only the symbolism that is associated in terms of capabilities, the enhanced capabilities of India, Indian Navy, but also the key technological features which show the capability of India in terms of technology, in terms of defense production. And when we are talking about its significance, it becomes important for us to look into the strategic shift the erasers testing is going to mark. This testing and the success associated with it will be a symbol of self-reliance because India has built this rocket indigenously by the help of DRDO labs and the key organization has been ARD which is associated with DRDO. It is being manufactured entirely in India by Bharat Dynamics Limited and we have solar defense. Here we see that the whole symbol of self-reliance is present that we are capable of the technology, the protection as well as producing it, manufacturing it entirely in India. And this will directly give a boost to the local industry. It will strengthen India's defense manufacturing industry. It will facilitate lessening the imports which we are dependent upon. It will decrease the expenditure of foreign exchange in terms of imports. Furthermore, it will also boost the defense exports which is very much required when we are talking about manufacturing. We have seen exponential growth when we talk about defense exports in last decade. If you see the example here, you can see as compared to the financial year 2013-14, there has been a jump of 34 times. If we talk about financial year 2024-25, and this is showing that at present, 23,622 crore of worth of export, defense export is happening from India. So such capabilities also enhances the demand of such goods in global market, which further fuels our amb ambition of enhancing the defense exports further. And this will directly impact the Make in India idea. When we talk about the Make in India flagship program, 
this will have a significant boosting to it because this rocket represents India's enhancing capability to design as well as produce high-end military systems on their own without any external support. And if we are able to do it, the brand we were expecting to come out of Make in India, one of those products are going to be the defense products. Now, I hope we have a clarity on how this just a test of a rocket, anti-submarine rocket, has so many dimensions, so many implications that become important from the perspective of your exam and general broader understanding as well. Now, let us move ahead and understand that how we are looking at it in terms of the geopolitical context and our naval future especially. So as I had highlighted that the strategic need of this successful testing has been simple. It has been the presence of and the rising activity in terms of submarine that we see in Indian Ocean and the idea to protect our long, long coastline. And this has been Another symbolic messaging that comes from India, especially after Operation Sindhur, that we are ready to target, we are ready to get back if there is terrorism across borders as well. So it is simplify, simply reiterating India's resolve post Operation Sindhur and global defense market is now going to see Indian tech as credible as well as battle ready. So in the recent remarks by our defense minister as well, this has been highlighted that this is not just a successful test, it is something symbolic about that how Indian tech products, defense tech products would be in demand from here on. And the message through all this, it has been very clear that we can build world class weapons and we will be ready to use them to defend our waters, land with strength, science as well as sovereignty. Now, this statement, I would like to leave this as a thought with you. What are your thoughts on this? Can you highlight the challenges associated with this idea and implementing this idea? That was all from my side. Thank you so much.